Okay, the Jambonese are a punk rock slash power pop rock and roll band. Uh, we got together about a year ago, give or take, and we just basically play really fast rock and roll music. Well, our lyrics have kind of an offensive slant, so if you're into fucked up shit, you probably like us. A lot of my songs, I kind of base my writing off of, a, I try to emulate like a Shel Silverstein type of a writing, where I, a lot of my songs will be about certain characters that I've made up. Like for example, I have a song about, it's called The Ballad of Slug Boy and Dog Face Girl. And it's basically about these uh, freak show characters and their social behaviors and things like that. I have a song called Abby Won't Abort It. It's about, uh, that situation that every young man goes through in their lives when they knock a chick off and she says, you know what, I think I want to keep her. And you're like, what the fuck? My life was going pretty good. So that's what our songs, I have a couple of love songs too, a couple of romantic songs, a couple of anti-love songs, you know, the, the regular punk rock thing. Oh, Joe Mancino Might Be Dead. That's one of our most popular songs amongst our legions of fans. Joe Mancino is a real dude that I used to work with. And basically, he's just that type of friend that everybody has, that if somebody were to come up to you and tell you, hey, Joe died last night, it wouldn't be the biggest shock in the world. So, it's about this dude. One night we were out partying, and the next day, one of my friends came up to me and said, you know what, man? Joe Mancino might be dead. And... I went home and I wrote that song that day. It's basically about a, your dirtbag buddy who could go at any minute, and it's based on a true story. Well, when you get into a studio, you have so many uh, toys to play with, and you know, live is more of an energy thing, you know? When I like to experiment with harmonies and things like that, one of my favorite bands of all time is the Beach Boys, and I like the Beatles, and I think that every good rock and roll song should have, you know, harmonies and, and things that you would be able to tweak in the studio. I mean, you should take advantage of all, all the equipment you have, and that's what, that, that would be the main difference between a live show and our recording. Those might not come really, really in a live performance, but we modify the way we play so that comes as close as it can get. So uh, the equipment that we used for this recording, I like, I have a Gibson SG, uh, cherry red Gibson SG, my girlfriend bought me, that's what I use. I have a little Marshall combo that I use. I mean, to me, equipment is not that important. It's more of what comes out from it. I could have used, you know, a Brownsville Flying V which was the first guitar that I ever bought for 125 bucks. Equipment to me is not that important, it's more of the actual song and the performance. Uh, we just recorded our demo at Madhouse Recording Asylum Studio, and it's right in the heart of Davey uh, with my boy Mark Abramowitz. And uh, it was just, you know, really great to do it there. It was my first time recording ever and I had a lot of freedom to do whatever I wanted to do. So it was definitely a great experience and I can't uh, wait to do it again. All right, so I'm Gumby Gordless. I'm the lead singer and rhythm guitarist of the John Benets. We also have uh, Brandon Stumfaletti. He's my uh, lead guitarist. Cr Krusty Machado. He plays bass, and uh, Rafi Muwum Nessa, who's the greatest drummer ever, and he's our drummer. And we've been together for about a year, and we love playing live shows. Uh, some of my biggest influences as a writer would probably, uh, my favorite band of all time is the Ramones. So I like a lot of uh, old school pop punk. You know, I like uh, The Queers, I like Screeching Weasel, The Vindictives, but I also have a lot of influences that aren't really hardcore rock and roll. You know, I like uh, a lot of pub rock, like 
Thin Lizzy and Slade. I like uh, a lot of uh, new wave style punk bands. Elvis Costello is one of my heroes. A lot of uh, pop like the Beach Boys and old school soul like Otis Redding and Jackie Wilson. I mean, those are all my influences, but mostly we're a punk rock band in the vein of the Ramones, so. I got a buddy in uh, Chicago, that's actually where I'm from, who's got his own little record label he does, and it's all tapes. I guess that's the new thing, you know? Super lo-fi, tape trading and stuff like that. So uh, we have a little opportunity with that to send him our tape, and hopefully he can spread it around to their little punk rock scene that they got in Chicago, which is actually a lot bigger than the punk rock scene we have here in South Florida. But uh, if everything works out, we should be uh, hopefully going to Chicago and doing a string of shows. So it's, it's nice to meet people, especially people who are doing things that are, that are a little bit different. I mean, I don't even have a tape player, but I guess I'll have to buy one so I can uh, enjoy all this indie and punk rock that's coming out of Chicago on tape. But it sounds interesting, and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, definitely going to Chicago as a full-grown adult and playing some great rock and roll. One of my favorite punk bands of all time is from Chicago, The Vindictives, and uh, one of my dreams would be to play a show with them. That's probably not going to happen, but if that would happen, that would be amazing. The future of the John Benets, well, hopefully, I mean, right now, I, all of us work full time and we're all adults. So we have a lot of responsibilities. But for the future, I would love to just keep playing shows, Fridays and Saturdays. Um, hopefully one day I would like to get signed to like a independent label or whatever and go profesh. But until then, you know, we'll just be playing shows and hopefully recording more and writing more. Right. All right, thank you. No problem.